Hey everybody, the Bong is back. Welcome to part 8 of Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! Capsule Monster Coliseum. Alright, I was gonna go back into the shop just to maybe pick up a new monster or so to add to the collection. And apparently Grandpa flagged me over saying, Oh, I have a new monster. Even though you could have given this to me the first time I showed up at the shop. But didn't do it. And here it is. Firewing Pegasus. Look at that move and attack stat. That's incredible. What's not incredible is knowing I need another 61 MP to get this. What would you like to do? I want to see if there's anything I can sell. What kind of thing of it? I already got a Tori K. So that's one bit right there. Unfortunately, I think that's it. Do I already have a shovel crusher in my in my collection? What would you like to do? I kind of wish I could just see what I already got in there. Well, let me like let me take a look. I think shovel crusher is already in my uh, capsule deck, so I can just sell the other one I have. Yeah, it's already in there. Guess what? I can sell the one in my, uh... In my reserve. Without losing all my shovel crushers. What would you like to do? Which is great, because I'd hate to miss out on Firewing Pegasus currently by one point. What would you like to do? Because you bet your ass I am going to buy Firewing Pegasus. What would you like to do? The only bad thing about it is I bet you that it's going to cost way too much just to put into the deck without cannibalizing my other stock. At the end of the day, I think it's going to be worth it. But by God, yeah, I'm going to be feeling it later. Question is, what do I give up? You know what? As good as Fire Reaper is, I think I'm going to give up Fire Reaper. And the reason why is that it already does... Firewing Pegasus already does what Fire Reaper does, but moves better. 300 MP, though. That's a big yikes. Oh well. I made this bed and I'm gonna lie in it. Chances are I may not be able to bring it out for many duels. And if I can't, well, it might cause an issue. But who knows, maybe it won't go too bad. Maybe it's so good, it's not gonna matter. So let's jump into Area 3 and finally face Bakura. The, on the Moonlit Cherry Blossoms. Alright, let's see what you're all about. I kept you waiting long enough. I mean, at least it's just regular Bakura, not the uh, Spirit of the Millennium Ring. Which I won't be surprised ends up being an opponent later on in the game. Yugi, I'm still learning this game, so please take it easy on me. But it's not an honorable duel if I don't treat you with respect, and duel to the best of my abilities, Bakura. <sighs> I guess that's true, but as long as I have fun, it'll be smashing. Right! Yeah, I don't hold back on people like you, okay? Okay. 
So learn to deal. One! <laughs> My god. Oh, you're, you're letting me attack first. An odd choice. Oh, 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 wait a minute. You can place monsters in two different spots now? That's gonna add an interesting element to the duel. Alright, here's something I'm really not liking. The MP cost is 680. If I use Firewing Pegasus, guess what that means? I'll only have 380 points left for my other monsters. I, I, I don't think I can use it. It's just not viable for me to do so. I should have other fire monsters I want to use if there are any. Mechanical Snail should, should still suffice. I should also bring in Summon Skull, because he's never let me down before. Should I consider bringing in a light monster? Because he's mostly going to be using dark, I believe. Would Lamoon be a good choice? Eh, good enough for me. Wicked Dragon should also come in. And what else? What else would be a good choice? Prisman, maybe? Hmm. Probably not gonna use Anthrosaurus. Because again, Dark has an advantage over Earth. I don't want to put myself in a bad situation if I can avoid it. Okay, I can put in three more monsters. Should Prisman go in? The attack range is actually okay. So we'll do that. I think a Kaminari Kazo can have like one more ride off into the sunset. But then I gotta think of something else. What about Firegrass? Mmm... I, I, I'm not liking that attack range. Trollbird? Do I want to give you one last hurrah? Before you're considered obsolete? Okay, I think this is a good spot. I think a Kaminari Kazo could be good over here. Summon Skull will also be great over here. Wait, let's look at this. Makuro is able to place monsters in two different spots. Oh, but I cannot! I do not have that luxury. That's unfortunate. Okay, I positioned well enough. It's time to start! Alright, I think I'm gonna start with summoning you. Then you. Uh, maybe not you yet. 
Definitely you. And last but not least, you. I like to bring in the monsters that have good movement first. It's important to think ahead, correct? Yeah, it's important to think at all, actually. So go right ahead. <laughs> One. I will use all my strength to defeat you. Wait, what do you have even over here? Queen of Autumn leaves. So it moves diagonally, can attack pretty much two spaces around it. And Karibo. That also moves diagonally. I can get Karibo running right away. That may not be a bad idea. Get you hit the ground running too. Wait, it says I got one other movement? Oh, there we go. Uh, you could probably go forward one more space. He didn't release many capsules. Why he only released one? I guess because Queen of Autumn Lees has some pretty good power. That definitely looks like another Karibo. I should look at those other monsters. Feral Imp, okay, you have a Feral Imp as well. Wind Dragon Guardian of the Fortress! Okay, I would like to snatch that one up. And a Larvis, I don't really care about. I actually have an attack on this right away? Karibo can get a beat on me, though. Hmm. Could the queen also hit me? I don't know. Question is, do I want to go for it? That's only going to do 95. So I don't think it's worth it right now. I could get my mechanical snail over here, so you can provide support. It would be in my best interest to provide some backup. Can you do much for me? Only if you move here. All right, let's go. How will you respond? Still moving the symbol away. He already seems pretty frightened. Wing Dragon is gonna be a problem. Okay, do I have anything to do with the Karibo? This can probably hit Kaminari Kazo, which is what I'm worried about. But you know what? Let's go for it anyway. That was an incredible attack. I know. 
I appreciate the compliment. Alright, alright, hold up. I think if I move Summon Skull over here, I can at least make it inconvenient for Feral Imp. Wait, if it only moves that one way... You can attack me if I go... here... So I'm actually safe if I go here. I hope I didn't mess up my math. Knowing me, I probably did somewhere. I'm gonna let you move. Actually, I'm gonna put you over here. Because I'm not a little coward. Oh, both of them can hit Kaminari Kazo. This is what I can do when I get serious. Wait, no, Karibo cannot. My monster's not beaten yet. Although the other one was definitely going to try. Ooh, Wing Dragon's got some good attack range, too. It was two spaces diagonally? No, three spaces diagonally! Whoa! That's an issue. Oh, you can go after Karibo now. Is that your only attack? It is. Okay. I'll take it. Please take it easy on me. For the last time, no. Learn to get good. I do have a beat, but it's gonna be on, like, Larvas. I think I'm just gonna retreat. Or... We'll go over here instead. See if I can actually get the jump on somebody else next turn. Alright, Summon Skull has an attack. If I go over here... But that sets me up if I get hit here. If I try for a hit here, I mean. So I think I'm just gonna go do this. was your most effective attack so far. Hey, I got more coming. In fact, I got one right here. Pretty much all his dark monsters except Karibo are just wiped. Wait. One, two, three. He'll probably go after Summon Skull. And what about you? 
One, two. Okay, you'll go after Summon Skull, but you'll have type disadvantage. Honestly, I'm just better off putting La Moon over here and go down. What do you have? Uh, Trollbird can probably get hit by this. Even if Larvis goes for an attack, it won't be good. It's gonna only go this way and then probably hit here. Let's look at the grid carefully. You know what? I'm okay with being moved over here. Or better yet... I'm gonna head down this way so I can move my way downward. Ah, Yugi, you truly are the best duelist. Oh, is that a call for a surrender? Oh, of course it's not. Attack disadvantage? Whatever will I do? Attack disadvantage, whatever will I do? <laughs> oh, okay, I that I did not take into account. I'm sorry, but I am going to win. Alright, well you got one on me. in my reach oh but that's only gonna get one too bad I can't just move and use my special ability on the same turn because I have such a good power play to do and I can't do it that makes me so sad No, 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 don't attack, don't attack, move. I want to hit this one. If Kaminari Kazo goes down, at least get rid of this one. You don't have a move? Oh, because of the rocks. Fuck. You do have a move. So I think I'm going to let you have your first attack. As a treat. Ouch! That was your most effective attack so far. Wait, if I move over here... Okay, I do have another attack. This will be a destruction, at least. So it's well worth it for me. Ah, how skilled are you, really? Do you really want the answer to that? Because I don't think you are prepared. I think it'll be safe to go here. I feel bad for Prisman. Basically, it has not been effective at all.
Maybe I'll get something on the go eventually. <laughs> Well, I knew it was going to go down eventually. And it had to be to the other Karibo. It's it's fine. It's fine. Trollbird's a champ. I wasn't concentrating, and I paid for that. Oh, you want a piece of me too, huh? Are you sure you're ready for that smoke? I don't think you are. Oh, you're still not in range for an attack. If I do this, you're done. If I do this, you're not done. But you'll be closer to done. Uh, I'm taking too much damage. Now we need to get working on this beast. And of course it's arranged in such a way I can't hit it. So I have to get closer. Do I have only the symbol? I do have only the symbol. That's it for me. Okay, that, that, it is wood against wind, that is an advantage. I wasn't concentrating, and I paid for that. Yeah, I knew it, he was gonna go for the one-two punch. That was the only move he would ever try. So I'll give it to you for that. Hold on, let's think about this. One, two... Okay, I can do something, but I have to get rid of Queen of Autumn Leaves. And I want Summon Skull to do it, because obviously I want to bulk him up more. And bulk him up I did! He leveled up again! So this allows Lamoon to actually get a hit in. Only 50?! That's unfortunate. How about this? 86. Still not enough. Ouch! That was your most effective attack so far. I think Drollbird is gonna fall on the next attack. However, we at least uh, started to whittle it down more. Yep, I lose yet another monster. Sacrifices had to be made. Oh, damn! Huh? Are you okay? 
You don't seem yourself, Yugi. The opponent's monsters can level up too. Thanks, you just gave me a free level 2 winged dragon. How kind of you. This will finish you. They're all gone. I guess it couldn't be helped. And that's a win! Even though I took some casualties, it's not much I could do about that. I lost. But I had a lot of fun. You were an excellent duelist, Bakura. Really? Oh, I know you're just saying that to make me feel better. <laughs> Keep going, Yugi. I know you can win the whole tournament. That's the plan. Otherwise, this Let's Play would never end. <laughs> oh, the moon leveled up. That's pretty good for our first try. Alright, so I can take some monsters. Well, that's a no-brainer. You and you. Just to snag you at level 2 immediately? How can I go wrong with that? Oh, overwrite? No, I don't need to overwrite. This is already saved. Alright, so it looks like my next opponent is Bandit Keith. So I wonder what I'm going to need to get ready for him. It's not like I get to see his uh, capsules right off the hop. Well, let me go shopping. I could probably get some pretty good stuff in the meantime. What would you like to do? I would like to buy. But what exactly? Um... Crocodilla seems pretty interesting. King Tiger Wanghu might also be interesting, too. Did I already get a One-Eyed Shield Dragon? I don't remember if I did. I, luckily, I don't need to buy this, because I got one at level 2 right off the hop. Could I get a Blast Juggler? You know what? Let's get a Blast Juggler. What would you like to do? That's good for now. But I'm going to need to add my new spoils. Let's think about this. Do I want to keep Wicked Dragon with the Ursat's head then? Or do I just want to upgrade right to Winged Dragon Guardian of the Fortress? Oh, even if I wanted to, I can't swap them out yet. There might be others I'm willing to do. Wait, do I have root two root waters? Why do I have two root waters? Get out of here, you. I'm thinking Crocodilus can come in. And what else? 
Left leg of the Forbidden One can come out. Yeah, now it just goes straight to you. MP of 152, though. That's expensive as well. I mean, I, I can't be surprised. I'm just disappointed. That it's soon going to start becoming an uphill battle. MP of 141. Alright, let's put in something that won't cost as much. This one's only at 100. I think I can get away with putting you in. Alright, so I'm going to split the part here. When we come back, I'll be ready to face Bandit Keith. Alright guys, see you in a bit. Alright, I should be ready to face Bandit Keith, so let's go right to the treasure trove. Alright, let's see what you're all about. Obviously, you have a dark symbol as well. I mean, it wouldn't hurt to just, like, go into the game, take a look at his capsules, and then just reload your save file as long as you remember what they are. I suppose that's one way to make your, uh, battles against your opponents easier. Just scout ahead. Hey, kid. I'm your next opponent, the Great Bandit Keith. I'm the former American champ. There's no way a snot-nosed punk like you can beat me. I thought you were a former Intercontinental champ. <laughs> if you're the former American champion, that means you're not the champion anymore, right? Shut your mouth, Brunt. I'm warning you. Dissing me is gonna be hazardous to your health. How dare you call yourself a champion? You've always dueled without pride or honor, cheating every chance you get. You've fallen far, Bandit Keith. So far that you're nothing more than a failure. Ugh. I'll make you eat your words. You're about to feel the greatest pain you've ever felt in your life. Wow, out of all the opponents, Yugi has like the harshest words for Bandit Keith. Six? Alright. I'm okay with that. That means I get to go first. Okay, so I'm seeing thunder, dark, dark, thunder, dark. Only two types, or two attributes. So that allows me to figure out what I need to put in. Alright, well first things first, earth and light are pretty much what I need. So you finally get a piece of action, King Tiger Wang Hu. Uh, Lamoon did pretty well last time, so I'm gonna put you back in too. Summon Skull always does well, so you're going in. Wing Dragon Guardian of the Fortress, you get your first piece of the action. Now I gotta think about what else fills the void. So I can put down four more monsters. Anthrosaurus worked well for me last time, so you can go back in. Do I have much else in by way of light? I probably don't. Put Feral Limp back in. The tiles are pretty good for dark, so maybe that's not a bad idea. I don't think I'm gonna be outnumbered that badly anyway. It's probably what he's probably got what seven monsters. That doesn't seem like an issue to me. But I should at least put one more in. And I think it should be... I'm 
thinking Sonic made? Do I want Sonic made? No, I think I get better control with Cockroach Knight. Oh wait, I can't put Sonic made anyway, because that's 85. I only need 82. Alright, it's gonna have to be Cockroach Knight. Wait, I don't get to choose where my symbol goes? That's an interesting departure from what I normally do. I think Lamoon going over here is a good idea. I think Inferal Limp is okay over here. Summon Skull can also go here. Wing Dragon can go... I'm thinking over here. Cockroach Knight can go over here. King Tiger Wonghu can go here. And last but not least, Anthrosaurus can go here. It's time to start. All right, let's waste no time with this. Get this one out right away. I should at least be covered on every angle. There, that's good enough. Oh, he's quite spread out too. I'll face you. Is that a rock right in front of one of the capsules? Is that a hole? Either way, it looks like you can't walk on that. What the hell is that supposed to be? Oh, that's a needle ball. Okay, that's dark. So it can like hop two spaces across and like go over here and can attack, say, over here or over here. Well, in that case, I'm not even worried. Oh wait, if these are mostly dark over here... I think I might want to be careful with Anthrosaurus then. I don't have enough AP to move anyone else. Ah, oh, damn. I didn't even check on the other monsters. What the hell are these? It looks like Sheep Man. <laughs> From what, Mega Man 10? What the hell is that? Oh, that's a La Lala Leon. Okay, so it's all diagonals. Oh, Jesus! Barrel Dragon? You got a Barrel Dragon? Oh, that's gonna be an issue. Okay, I think I have something going if I go over here. So I'll position them like this. And now I gotta start summoning some more.
Are you gonna start moving the rest of them? All right, your funeral, I guess. Didn't move them in all the way, though. Hold on. This gives me an idea. How can you do offensively? You can only hit one. But your attack goes down. That's gonna be nowhere near enough for a kill. What about you? You can get a hit! But how good is the hit? 136! Okay, so 136. Let me do the math. 136. I'll have to remember that. One thirty six plus one ten equals two forty six. So this will kill. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. As long as La Moon does not get hit twice. I guess she could survive a second hit. I would just ma rather her only get hit once. The only problem with this is we don't really have a good beat on the other one. Because that needle ball can just stay right there. Yeah, see? Oh, but it's only 65 damage! Oh, this works in my favor just fine. Okay, the Feral Imp is out to play. As is... That's the Steel Scorpion, right? Victory's in my reach! Yeah, that's just a Steel Scorpion. Hold on, you can move... you can use diagonals. One, two... Hold on. If I go over here... One, two... Okay, it can't hit me regardless. What if I move you? You could hit King Tiger Wong Hu, and even then it's not gonna do a lot. I'm better off just doing this. Okay, if you move this way, you can move up here. And then hit me when I'm as far as here. So if I do this, you'll have to chase me. Let's see if you're willing to make that, make that jump. I don't think you're ready to make that move. I really don't. Oh, here it comes. This guy's nothing like you faced before.
Look at that unit. Here comes the Barrel Dragon. We knew it had to come to play eventually. And yep, it took the bait. So really all I need to do is just this, hit it again, and you're done. You hurt me, I'll pay you back up. Got it? You are more than welcome to try. Okay, so the left flank is pretty much safe, but there's still like this middle flank that they're gonna try to hit me from there. Wait, if I just stay here, what's it gonna do? One, two... Okay, I can't get a hit on Summon Skull this way. Wait, the other one probably can't hit me either. Can it? One, two... Oh, uh, that one probably could. I mean, it could be worse. I think I'm gonna start positioning some monsters... ...over here, perhaps? To... Okay, maybe not on top of this chest. take a look at what Barrel Dragon's movement is like. Only 88. How will I ever go on? Well, the good news is my Feral Limp should have the advantage over his. Until the very end of the duel. The only shame is I don't really have an advantage over here. If only they can move forward one more space. Then I might be able to get some hits. So I think if I stay over here, I might have some cheap shots to use. This is just gonna end up like one big pissing contest. But I should take it. Admit it. I know you're cheating. I don't see you proving it. <laughs> Cuz you're just a little bitch. Come on, really?
Wait, hold on. Let me check something. One, two. Okay, it will get a hit on Summon Skull if I do this. But it just lures it out to get attacked. I like how its HP just drops as if it's Gen 4 Pokemon. Like, just very, very slowly. You know, I'm gonna move Cockroach next. I don't think you moved at all the entire duel. Please, I still have a lot to go. And I can outmuscle yours. This is just a losing battle for you, Bandit Keith. Oh, well, if you can hit me, that means I can hit you. Wait, what is Barrel Dragon's attack movement? Is it diagonal? Oh god, it, it got a lot of range. However, I think I should still have an edge. Okay, let's only move what I actually want to move. You're gonna pay big time, runt. Oh, this will probably be a one-shotter right there. Take it. Take the shot. Okay, so here's my next play. Maybe I can get these guys to hit the barrel dragon from behind. Or even go after the symbol. This still will not kill Feral Imp. It just prevents Wing Dragon from finishing it. It actually might make things a little bit harder for me to get a jump on any of these monsters. Yeah, I can't get a single one at this rate. Well, this kind of fucks. Yeah, I can't hit any of them. Even if I go here. All this does is provide me a bit of cover. So I should just make some moves happen. Let's see. One, two, one, two, three. So I should only move here. Therefore I should get Cockroach Knight to help. Luckily, it's only down to two monsters. Well, on his side. 
Oh, uh, hang on. He might actually have a a jump on my symbol. So I better move that over there. Now I just gotta throw everything at Barrel Dragon. Sadly, my Cockroach Knight, which thankfully did level up, it's gonna get hit. Anything. Unless I start amping up the aggression factor and just go right for the symbol. The only downside to that is I lose out on Barrel Dragon. What I would really like to do is get Summon Skull over there. To provide some support. Oh, that's gonna be an immediate destroy. Ah, oh, shit. Do any of us have a chance to hit that barrel dragon? Not unless we get up there. Which means I gotta get Feral Imp moving. Two, three. Okay, my symbol is safe. At least it should be. Yeah, hitting that barrel dragon is gonna be a pain in the ass. Oh, it has type advantage against me. Shit. If that's all the damage you can deal, then my monster will not fall. That that's not very inspiring because it still hit me hard. I'm gonna have to do something. It's only gonna do 90, though. What else do I have to work with? Wait! I have a hit on this? Oh, okay. That works. I'm probably gonna have to sacrifice King Tiger Wonghu so that Summon Skull can get the last hit or two. I'm gonna have to make a sacrifice. I don't like it, but it's gotta be done. 
the AI will go for this sh guaranteed kill. So that means it's gonna leave itself wide open. Oh, you leveled up! Worst case scenario, that one level up prevented it from dying to a summon skull attack. That's the only thing I can think of. And it will still fall. Alright, I win. This will finish you. So I lost two monsters. As, as you can see, they are getting tougher. Away with this. But I have. I, I won. So I don't know what you're talking about. N no way! I've beaten tougher opponents than you. How could I lose? This duel was over before it began. When you decided to fight without honor. What do you know? Drill this into your head. Next time, I will get my revenge. Just you wait. I'm out of here. Goodbye and good riddance, Bandit Keith. Oh, sweet. Someone's skull leveled up again. That was a bit dramatic. <laughs> hey, my symbol doubled up. Alright, more AP would be good. And maybe some more PP as well. Do you want to do a level up? Uh, does a bear shit in the woods? I mean, at least... Oh god, it does make my MP go up as well. So there's a double-edged sword to this. Well, the good news is... I did earn that barrel dragon. And I did earn a Lala Leoon. Alright, we'll save. Okay, these two battles definitely, uh... Kinda... Did a little bit of a dent into me. But we're still building up as we go. Alright, two down, three more to go for this area. So who should be next? I... Think it was... It wasn't Odeon, was it? No, it's Pegasus! Yeah, Pegasus is the next one. Alright, first, let's see what's new in the shop. I don't think there's anything that new, but I'm dying to know. Who knows, I might have filled in some kind of condition to get a new monster. I did what not. What would you like to do? I guess I can get a y Yadokaru. I don't remember having one of those. Don't want a Faith Bird. It's different, so yeah. Manor Bug is also different, so I'll take that. Kamakuri Man, we'll take that. And that's it. What would you like to do? As much as I like Barrel Dragon, I don't know if I really want to put it in my deck. Because I already got some goods as is. Well, we'll work on that as we get to it. 
Who knows, I might be forced to put it in if another monster ends up losing in this battle against Pegasus. Which I'll do in the next episode, alright peeps? See you there everyone, thanks for watching.